Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel, Mr. Toons, and today I'm doing Game Week 34 predictions of the Barclays Premier League. I'm going to be starting off on the 29th of April, it's going to be Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park facing West Ham at the home ground, 2-1 to West Ham. Now Crystal Palace lost 2-0 to Wolves and I think they're going to lose back to back here against West Ham because West Ham are playing amazing. Yes, they lost to Liverpool, but just before that they won 4-0 against Bournemouth. Amazing. Bequeta also scored an absolute supine, sensational, amazing goal against Liverpool and had a great performance, I and mean, the likes of Declan Rice as well, they're playing supine West Ham, and facing Crystal Palace, which I don't think would have much fight in this game because they're mid-table, and West Ham want to confirm not going down, so I think they're going to just about win 2-1. Moving on to the next game, it's Brighton and Tove Albion, they're the home ground facing Wolverhampton Wanderers, 2-0 to Brighton, Brighton all season have been playing fantastic, Matoma specifically has absolute shone across the stars, and playing Supibe in that attacking role of left wing. Supibe with McAllister and Solly Mark coming out of nowhere this season. Just doing everything amazing. I was unlucky for him to miss that penalty in the Manchester United game in the FA Cup and semi-finals. And Brighton played very well against Manchester United in the semi-finals. They're playing very well throughout the whole season. I think they've played probably one of the best in the Premier League. And they're very unlucky not to be higher up in the table. So they're going to have to get a win if they want European football, at least 7th place. If they want Conference League, they're going to have to win this game against Wolves. Moving on to the next game, it's Brentford at their home stadium facing Nottingham Forest. 1-1. In my opinion, this looks like a 1-1 game all over it. Nottingham Forest getting a great 3-1 win against Brighton. And Brentford getting a 2-0 win against Chelsea. Yes, Chelsea have been playing terribly, but still it's a win and Brentford haven't got one for a while. What they do get is draws. They always get draws. The most draws in the Premier League. And Nottingham Forest, I cannot see them winning away from home. But I, what I can see them doing is getting a crucial point because they are fighting. They got a good three points against Bright Brighton. And now they're going to get a point against Brentford. Because they are fighting for their lives. And Brentford usually draw. If there were to be a winner, it would be Brentford. Because Nottingham Forest are fighting. I think they've got a lot of fight. And they're going to be able to get a point. Moving on to the next game, it's the 30th of April, it's Manchester United at Old Trafford facing Aston Villa 3 -0. I think it's going to be high scoring, I think Oli Watkins is going to return the goal scoring form, play fantastic, Moreno played fantastic overall, playing really well defensively and in attacking scenarios, and obviously Mings to get the goal against Fulham to get them a crucial 3 points, but they're facing against Manchester United away. Manchester United did get a 2 all draw against Spurs. I thought they were going to win Man United, but they didn't. But it was a very close game between the two sides. But overall, I cannot split them. Both sides have been playing fantastically all season. Cannot split them. I don't see Man United losing because they're at Old Trafford. So I'm just going to have to split it down the middle, a draw. 3 all. Moving on to the next game, it's at Craven Cottage. It's obviously Fulham versus Manchester City. 5-1 to Manchester City. Manchester City, unstoppable at the moment. Winning 4-1 against Arsenal. And I think they're going to win the league, Manchester City. They've been fantastic. I think they're going to win every single game. The remaining games this season, Man City, they're going to win them all. And they're going to win the league. They're facing against Fulham, who lost 1-0 to Aston Villa. And are in that high mid-table spot. 5-1 to Man City. I think they're going to absolutely batter Fulham. Moving on to the next game. It's at the Vitality Stadium. And it's Bournemouth versus Leeds United. And I'm saying 2-1 to Leeds United. Now, Bournemouth. Obviously, a crucial win against last place. 1-0 against Southampton. Another at Vitality Stadium. They've been playing very well. Other than the 4-0 loss against West Ham. Bournemouth are playing pretty decent. In recent times and you would probably think Bournemouth would want to win this but I think Bournemouth are safe I think they're much more safer than Leeds United at the moment but Leeds they were so unlucky against Leicester City Patrick Bamford what are you doing that was such a good opportunity to give Leeds United hope to stay up an open net he should have scored that should have scored it he does everything right he creates the chances he plays an overall great performance to get in that amazing position but he just can't finish his beans. But Leeds United did play very well against Leicester City. I think they've shown more fight than they have done in the previous recent games. And for that, I think they're going to show a lot of fight. So I'm saying 2-1 to Leeds United. Moving on to the next game, it's Newcastle United, my favourite club. At St. James's Park, the home stadium, facing Southampton last place. 2-0 to Newcastle. 
And you know what, Newcastle haven't got a clean sheet for a while, but I think they, if they are going to get a clean sheet, it's going to be against Southampton. Newcastle, I believe, still hold the best defensive record in the league. And yes, they do, with only 26 goals conceded, which is a great, great statistic for Newcastle United this season. I think they're going to be able to keep a clean sheet against Southampton. Southampton were unlucky not to get a point against Bournemouth, but I think Southampton are down. They've only got 24 points and now facing Newcastle at the home ground. You know, Joe Willett, can I say, in my opinion, against Spurs, that's the best pass I've ever seen from anyone. What a pass by Joe Willock. He then did a sensational little move against Everton to get an assist to Joe, Le Joe Linton's header goal. Fantastic by Joe Willock. Everyone's performing amazing. Even Jacob Murphy is getting onto the score sheet now. So I can, I definitely cannot see Southampton gain anything from this game. Especially when Newcastle are at home. Moving on to the next game, it's at Anfield. It's Liverpool facing Tottenham Hotspur. 2-1 to Liverpool. Now, Liverpool, last five games, no losses. They got a really good win against West Ham United. And we're seeing Cody Gakpo getting onto the score sheet. We're seeing Liverpool starting to transform. And I think they're definitely hitting top six this season. And against Tottenham, I think, basis on form, Liverpool are going to win this because their form is way better than Spurs. Yes, Spurs, Son did get a goal against Manchester United, starting to perform a bit better. But I don't think it's going to be enough. In my opinion, Harry Kane and maybe Son is the best what Spurs have got. It's not good enough. They're not playing well enough. Yes, it was a good point against Manchester United. But the basis of form, I think Liverpool are winning this game. Especially when Liverpool are at Anfield. I think they've won this game and they got it in the bag. Moving on to the next game. It's on the 1st of May. It is Leicester City at their home ground, King Power Stadium. Facing Everton, 1-0 to Leicester. And this could say who's going down and who's not going down but both of these clubs will be going down but Everton losing 4-1 against Newcastle you know the only goal they scored there was a scrappy corner goal and overall they don't have the striker to finish all their beans up at all they do not have that striker and they've got the worst attacking records and Leicester have got a very good attacking record especially where they are in the league They've got a very good attacking record, so there's definitely going to get a goal. James Madison's going to carry them. Because overall, if you look at it, Leicester's last two games, they've actually got some points. They've got a bit of momentum. They've got a new manager in Dean Smith. But Everton do have Sean Dice, but at the moment, things aren't quite clicking in. I think it would be a different story if Everton were at Goodison Park. I think Everton would be able to get a point, and they still could get a point here. But I think Leicester have got a bit of momentum, a bit of refreshment for Dean Smith coming in. And a much better attack. And with James Madison, I think it's just about going to carry them to a win here. Moving on to the next game. It's the 2nd of May. It's Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium against Chelsea. 2-0 to Arsenal. You know what? Chelsea have 15 shots, 4 on target, and 73% possession against Brentford. And it was unlucky for them to concede 2 goals against Brentford. Because Afil Equator got an own goal. And that's very, very unlucky for Chelsea. But they, they're losing. Even if you dominate the game in statistics, it's not going to be enough if you're not getting the result. And especially going away against Arsenal. I just think Chelsea needs someone to finish their beans. They get chances, hat full of chances every game, but it's not enough. Facing Arsenal, especially if Arsenal got any chance of winning this league, they're going to have to win here. And I think they will. 2-0 against Chelsea. Chelsea just needs a new striker. A striker that can score goals. And that will be the end of my video, just before I do wrap up today's video. Last week, I did terrible. 3 points out of 20 points. Absolutely shambolic. And overall, I'm sitting on 182 points out of 650 points. Hopefully, you can like and subscribe. And always remember to turn on notifications to miss one of my fantastic YouTube videos. I will see you next time. To the pip now.